when you think about writing your research document with the help of AI tools, there is a sea of AI tools in the market at the moment which are specifically designed for researchers to help you in your academic writing. But it doesn't mean that a single tool can write your complete research document on a single click and that document is good to go for submission. As I always talk that adoption of AI tools for academic writing is a process. You have to understand the process and in that process you have to go for multiple AI tools. No, all the tools which you require to write your research document are not paid. There are multiple AI tools which are free and are by very sound sources like Google. So in this video, I'm going to break down the process in front of you and going to suggest you only three AI tools which are going to help you to write your any kind of a research document. Again, writing with the help of AI tools doesn't mean you are going to depend all the information these AI tools are going to provide you solely but they are going to break the writing block give you multiple suggestions and helping you to gather the related information and to build the story of information you want to put in your document so if you want to come up from this confusion that which ai tool is actually working and what should be the right selection of ai tools for writing your thesis or research paper then stay tuned and if you have not still subscribed my channel press the subscribe button and also the bell icon because at this platform i'm going to provide you all all the guidelines, all the roadmap, which are essential to make your research journey successful and easy. Moving forward, the first AI tool about which we are going to talk today is Google AI Studio. So Google AI Studio is a platform about which you should to be familiar. You should have deep friendship with this platform because this is going to help you to break thinking and writing blogs and is going to provide you multiple assistance while writing your research document. You can use this tool for multiple purposes in your research journey. I have recorded a detailed video. You can watch it here where I have talked about that being a researcher, being a person in academia, how you can take benefit from this AI tool. But the uses are not limited. There are many which you can explore while spending time on this tool. There are many modes of this tool. So when we talk about them Gemini to flash, Gemini to uh, preview image generation and Gemini to flash light. If we go for it's simple Gemini to flash, you can use all these of the sources to generate the ideas and to convert one form of information into another form of information. For example, you can take the research papers, the collection of research papers from your uh, Google Drive and you can write a literature review with the help of Google AI Studio. In the same way, you can upload files and you can extract the information from these files. You can record the audio and convert that audio into an entire document. You can take the pictures with the help of the camera and then can convert of those images into text. In the same way, you can convert the link of YouTube video into entire blog or a document with the help of this tool. And this work amazingly. It convert the same information which have been delivered in that video into an entire document. And in the same way, you can upload upload multiple type of medias as the samples given in the media section. At the moment, you can use to write the outline of your document. You can use this tool to refine the research topic, to find the research gap, to develop the uh, methodology to develop the aims and objectives research questions according to your studies so if you have a raw idea about your research topic you can use this tool to make it more refined and to get more close to your research topic but when you have done with the selection of your research topic by providing the appropriate details about your research problem research questions your methodology you are going to adopt your research gap you can develop the outline of your entire thesis by providing it the number of limits so the outline which we, you get with the help of Google AI Studio is far more better than the outline with Gemini AI, ChatGPT, even Jani.ai provides you, which is a paid tool. So I give the same command to the ChatGPT and this is a very simple and basic outline which I get with the help of ChatGPT about my thesis. And this is the outline which Gemini helps me to build about the each chapter of my research document. And that can be 
maybe even your research proposal, your paper or your thesis. But with the help of Google AI Studio, I am not only getting the outline, I'm also getting the suggestion of the information which I have to put, what should be the ex exclusive and inclusive criteria about the information which I'm going to put and it also suggests me the number of words in each section which make this process of writing, thinking, gathering information more easy for me. So when I talk about you, this tool, you have to take the help from this tool but again you can make the modification in the outline which this tool provides you by editing it after copying it. So when you press on these three dots you will get an option to copy this. You just have to copy it and to paste it in Google Docs. So this is the entire outline of the document. When you have done with the finalization of this outline, you can go towards writing and to gather the data or information or literature about this specific context which we you are going to put in your document. For that purpose, there is one tool which is going to help you to gather the literature along with to brainstorm and to write some basic information about your topic. And for that purpose, you can use a site. When you go to its product, you can use its search feature to find the information about the topic and uh, you can uh, understand the potential of this tool by watching my this video the link is available in i button where i have talked about all the features of site.ai in detail and how you can use this tool and how you can avail this tool in less price by using my discount code all the links of these tools which i'm mentioning in this video along with discount codes are available in description you can access by using those links so you can use this and for assistance you have to go to the writing and so for example we, I have to talk about the historical domains of solvents in chemical industry I will pick this specific information and I will use site.ai to gather the literature along with the citation and list of references about that specific statement all the information site.ai provides me will have a list of references on the right side along with the index citations which can I access just by clicking clicking on th that citation and site.ai will also allows you to go through the information from the source paper uh, from where that data have been collected and this will allow you to put a check on the information you are putting in your document. In this way you can modify your response by using these features. You can get information from abstracts only. You can expand the response. You can get it in the form of a table or you can switch to search or prefer pref recent references. Just by clicking on any of these you can modify the results. Lastly when you're done with the writing, when you're done with the compilation of your document, your document will have AI written content if you copy the same content which site.ai or any writing tool suggests you to make it humanize. You can use any AI humanizing tool or you can rephrase it manually. If you want to super fast your process then you can use AI humanizer and for that purpose me and my team is using Hicks bypass from the last two years and the results are appreciable. We are not getting AI plagiarism internal report in our document and if there is some we can tackle it by rephrasing. You can get the discount code with the accessing link of all these tools from the description below and if you are looking for any kind of assistance your academic writing or if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one mentorship you can visit the website link is available in description also i will see you in another video to then take care of yourself bye bye